So welcome. Thank you for taking the time to, to see our presentation. Um, I would like to first company. So we are actually a, a, a company that is coating uh, functional films by chemical coating, roll to roll process with about 600 employees, 60 of them in the R&D space. Um, we have three manufacturing locations, two located at our headquarter in Japan and one additional production location in the US. Um, the European office is located in Zurich and uh, we work from there for the distribution and support of our European clients. And we also have the sales offices in the US supporting our American clients. So basically we are working in coating technologies for major technologies. So what we will talk about today is light management. This includes light diffusion films as well as light reflection films and light absorbent films. Then we have the whole area of hard coatings. So this includes chemical and scratch resistant coatings, for example, in membrane switches, but also specialized coatings with UV and infrared blocking, special coatings with uh, scratch resistant um, properties also for um, conductive ink printing. And then we have also a range of adhesive films, but they are mostly focused on removable adhesives that are used in processing applications. So um, we have different release strengths that we can offer. And as a last sector, we also do electric conductive coatings of, um, of uh, conductive polymers in the roll-to-roll -roll process. But today I would like to focus on our um, Optsafe diffusion films. So these uh, light diffusion films were originally developed in the 90s for big uh, flat TVs was the first application. Today, they are used in many LCD backlit uh, um, systems in backlight units for LCD displays. And also an application that has grown out of the uh, white LED uh, movement was the general lighting that is used for uh, architectural interior lighting designs and also technical lighting in general. Today, we'll focus on printed electronics application of those films. Um, where, for example, backlight symbols can be created directly on the films to be used in user interfaces. So the sectors of application are consumer electronics, uh, bigger like white goods, uh, automotive applications and general industrial control units. If we look at the uh, basic application types where our films are used, we have actually two different um, things. So we have on the left side, a direct illumination where the, the LEDs are aligned in a matrix and directly are um, shining on our diffusion film. So directed to, to, the, to the viewer. And in this case, um, the um, diffusion power is very important. Um, so you can actually have a uh, close as possible distance between the LEDs and the diffusion layer. On the right side, we see the traditional system of backlight units that are used, for example, in LCD backlights. So here we are using the LEDs on the sides on the so-called light guide plate that guides the light and actually um, with a, a white back uh, reflector and in the front, there is also a diffusion film used um, to do the fine diffusion of the light. The big difference between the two, um, if you look on the left side, uh, symbolized by the lamp, that uh, in a direct illumination application, you need a certain distance between the LED and the diffusion film to reach a nice and homogeneous illumination of the whole surface. On the other hand, with a light guide plate with an edge illumination, you can actually do very thin uh, designs that allow you to reduce the size of your illumination system. The uh, construction of such a film that I'm holding here um, in my hand, so it's a thin film based on either between 75 and 100 micron thick polyester base film that is then chemical